Hello everyone, I'm Jeremy, and with me is Casey, a volunteer at the Jurong Lake Gardens and an avid bird photographer. Hello everybody. Today, let us take you around Lakeside Garden of Jurong Lake Gardens to look out for some of the birds that you can see here. Jurong Lake Gardens is the first national garden located in the heartland. It is a people's garden where families and the community can come together. Lakeside Garden, a 53 hectare garden centered around the theme of nature, play, and the community, is the first phase of the gardens to be completed. The garden is also home to lots of biodiversity, including more than 170 bird species recorded here. So, Casey, where are we headed to first? Let's go to the Eco Pond at the Kusia Cove. Let's go! Here we are at Kusia Cove a 3 hectare closed loop water system where water from the play area is filtered by plants in the eco ponds and treated before cycling back into the play area. Jeremy, do you see there's a bird on the water edge there? Yes, I see it. It's a striated heron, right? Yes, it is. This bird have a habit of putting bait into the water to attract its prey. Let's take a picture of it. So Casey, what is it about bird watching and photography that you enjoy so much? Bird watchings and photographies allow me to better understand nature and the natural world. Understanding their behaviours allow me to appreciate and photograph them better. I can also share this knowledge with friends and people online and during guided walks in the gardens. Shall we head to Forest Ramble to see what else we can spot next? Yeah, let's go. Forest Ramble is a playground inspired by nature with 13 different adventure stations inspired by our native fauna. The play features here have been designed to enable children to mimic the natural movements of these animals. The nearby lake and natural wooded look of the play garden also allow for encounters with many of our feathered friends. I spot an oriental magpie robin. Do you see it over there? Let me take a look. They have really melodious call and are also a very popular pet bird species. However, poaching together with competition from other birds such as the Javan miners, led to a significant decline in their population numbers during the 80s and the 90s. Their numbers have slowly recovered and they are now regularly seen in many of our parks and gardens. At the southern end of the gardens, the meandering boardwalk at Rasal Walk is a restored wetland that brings you up close to the water's edge. Here, you can see some of the freshwater swamp forest plant species, such as the salak palm, and the nipa palm. Along the water's edge, you can spot water birds such as the white-breasted water hen. These birds have long legs and toes that allow them to forage among aquatic vegetation easily. They are generally shy and prefer to run for cover instead of flying away. The vegetation around the boardwalk is also a popular resting spot for birds such as the grey heron. The grey heron is the largest of the resident herons in Jurong Lake Gardens standing up to a metre in height. These herons nest together in colonies called heronries on tall trees such as the casuarina tree. Right next to Rasa Walk is one of my favourite scenic spots, the grasslands. And do you know that it is also a popular spot for bird watching and photography? Yes, I have seen many photographers around here and there are also dedicated bird hides for bird watching. Okay, let's go and take a look. The grass seeds at the grasslands are an important food source for some of the bird species found here. There are three bird hides located around the grassland for bird watching up close in a non-intrusive way. A grassland bird species that reside in the grassland is the lesser cuckoo. Unlike most cuckoo species, they build their own nests and they are usually seen sunning themselves on top of shrubs in the early morning or after periods of heavy rain. The grasslands is also home to the Zitting Cola. They make their nests here amongst the tall grasses, which is also why we should always keep to the trail when we are in the grasslands. We hope we have learned a bit more about the bird species of Lakeside Garden at Jurong Lake Gardens. Casey, thank you for joining me for a fulfilling day of bird watching and for sharing your knowledge with everyone. It's my pleasure. Thank you everyone for watching and we hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye.